and welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is De Lafayette. He is ranked 13th in his Platinum Division with 2,619 points, 262 wins, and 233 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the Northeast up against De Lafayette. He is Red Terran in the Southwest. The map is Zelnaga Caverns. Not my favorite map, but it's something that I've learned to deal with, sort of. But, um, yes, I'm not a fan of this expansion at all. So hard to hold. Um, this third is, I th you know, it's ridiculous to ask to, for us to break rocks in order to get a third, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking things. But, um, this was an interesting day for me today. I'm actually recording this the same day that I played it, which is pretty unusual for me. I, I usually like to give it a day or two between me playing it and me broadcasting it, but I'm a little bit low on games right now when I want to finish out the week, so this is what I've decided to do. Nothing out of the unusual so far. Do I keep saying nothing out of the unusual? Wow, what? where did that come from? Nothing out of the usual right now. No sort of proxy stuff. Um, what the hell is he doing? Oh, I was wondering what happened. Okay, apparently when I queued him up to move, I queued him directly on the Zelnaga Tower. And since he can't actually move directly on the Zelnaga Tower, he bugged out. I don't know what the point of that is. That uh, seems like a little game glitch that should be fixed shortly, but that was crazy. So I'm going inside his base. It's still a little bit early, so there's not that much to see here. He is going to take an SCV off the line to try to harass me, so I'm just not going to bother here. Um, if, if he's going to, you know, just chase me around the map, I'm just going to leave. It's probably not the, the best idea, but... I didn't think I would be in there long enough to get any good scouting done anyways. My barracks is done, and it looks like my marine is a little bit behind. He does have a supply depot and a tech lab going down on his barracks. Doesn't look like he ever got out. Oh, he did get out that first marine. What am I talking about? And it looks like he's going to try to move in with that first marine. I got a marine, baby. He's going for a second barracks. Um, meanwhile, I am just getting a supply depot. My second barracks is just up right now. Looking at the income tab, he is about even with me, even a split second ahead, it looks like. Oh, uh, no, a little bit more than a split second. And so what do we see here? Three racks coming out from him. First one was a tech lab, though. That is slightly different. I like to get the reactor first so I can just get a large army out right away and not have to worry about, you know, two marines doing massive damage into my base. But I am continuing to pump out SCVs, continuing to pump out the mules, going for three racks, and that's pretty much it right now. He is going to take control of Zelnaga Tower here. That is the forward one for him. Uh, this one is a little bit higher than the other one, so he is definitely taking over the map in terms of sight right now. Tech Labs are on the way. He is getting, it looks like, his first Marauder out now. He is researching Stimpak, and two SCVs are just kind of hanging out, not doing anything. There we go. This guy goes back to the line. This guy builds another Supply Depot, just right around here. Very interesting pattern we got going on here. Three Marines out in the front. Not exactly sure what they're up to out there. Um, I assume they're having, you know, conversations right now. Just be like, dude, dude, I know she killed billions and billions of people, but Kerrigan, would you? Come on, you know you would. I do have the larger army right now, it looks like. Oh, uh, no, just uh, his are reinforcing right now. He's got one Marauder and two Marines on the way. Sending up a test Marine here. That will die, doesn't even get a shot off. And his cannon gun, I don't even, uh, disappeared, I can't see it. Will never be seen again. Concussive shells, 
is being researched by both of us. Looks like his is a little bit faster. His stim pack is done. Mine is not, but I still have the larger army right now. So his is his army is a little bit techier than mine. Uh, he does not have an engineering bay, as far as I know. He does not. He just has a massive amount of supply depots all bunched up right here. That is what I used to do. Luckily, I was talked out of it. Continuing to pump out Murray. No, it looks like I stopped there. I went for the engineering bay because I did know he was outside my base, so I'm trying to get the upgrades right now. I feel like I have the I should have the larger army and I do, so I'm trying to make up for it with upgrades. Looking at the army size, he is slightly ahead just by twenty-five gas, so I do have he does have one more marauder while I have two more marines. I can do the math there. Continuing to get supply depots around my base. I'm quickly running out of room here. I always think this is such a large base here, but once I get the supply depots, it kind of bunches them in. They are a little bit out of position. And he's going to scan, going to be able to see my army in here. I did scan earlier as well. Uh, two. So yes, I did see the three racks, but I did not see his army. I did see a marauder run down here, so I assumed he was waiting outside my base. I did not realize he was at the Zalnaga Tower at the time. I figured he'd be down here making sure I didn't get an expansion, but he was not doing that. He is going for a factory right now, along with his expansion. It's a well-timed expansion, I think, especially since he's got both Zalnaga cavern Towers under control here and I'm just moving down to the tower trying to figure out what I need to do and I don't expect an army there so the guys are out of position they came almost single file there and I stim a little bit late looks like I'm still gonna have the large enough army to finish this off here we go um, two marines and two mirage just hanging out they're gonna join their buddy over here who ditches his tower good thing because that is exactly where I was headed right now and I am falling apart in the macro already. It is far too early for me to be doing that. What This needs to be researched. Um, there we go. It looks like I am going to be going for an expansion. It is a little bit later than his. He is just now morphing it into a puzzle command. And he has too much of an army still in his face. I was just going to move him down here to try to meet up with these guys. If they were together, I would have won that fight. Those two marauders wouldn't have kept running. It would have helped a lot as well. But I am going to lose that battle there. And he does have his expansion up. Mine is still on the way. Looks like I am going to catch all my marines and marauders and send them back to the base. Meanwhile, he is... Con no, I, I was continuing to produce Marines and Marauders. I am getting weapons level 1 upgrade. His first siege tank is out. He has not researched siege tech. But his... Yeah, but his orbital command is up, so he is taking the lead in the income, even though he does have fewer harvesters. I am oversaturated here. Look at that. That's 25, 26, 27. Oh, that is not good. I need, but this is on the way, so we should see a transfer coming up soon. Meanwhile, I am getting the armor upgrade, uh, going for my first factory here, because I am so high on gas and it looks like I am going for five racks right now I'm gonna put them out here out in front Meanwhile, it looks like he is going to be doing work to get the high yield expansion that is the, the ideal location for a Terran's third expansion here um, because it is the next logical step up and the planetary fortress can guard that extremely well meanwhile I am changing this Oh, it is morphing. Morphing into a planetary fortress. I am getting, uh, no, that is not me. I am still getting my factory. Meanwhile, he is getting a starport, and he is putting a reactor down on that, and it looks like he is just now getting his fourth racks up, and he's going for his third base here. I am still trying to saturate my second base here, so I am falling far behind in the economy right now. And that is what the map control will give you. It will give you that option to do that, especially with these siege tanks. Even though they are not siege mode ready, siege tech uh, is not researched. He still has quite some time before that is finished. 
Meanwhile, I am getting my second engineering bay here. I want those upgrades faster and faster. I am going for the armory so that these guys will have something to work on once they are done. But I am... Oh, look at that. This is probably the best I've done in terms of mineral management at this point in the game in any that you've seen in some time. I was alert today. Let's see if I can keep that up. Uh, I honestly can't remember. I didn't check at the end of the game. But he is moving out with a ton of tanks. I mean, I assume that these are 500 pounds each, so I'm going to say that there's a ton of them. They're probably over a ton each. Uh, these guys definitely weigh a ton altogether, and then these guys probably weigh about half a ton. And he's moving in with medevacs uh, as well, so we should be seeing some healing done. I am going for weapons level 2 on my infantry. These guys are still 0-0 zero, zero in his army. No upgrades on the tanks as well. But it does look like he has siege tech fully researched. And boom, he's able to spot the army with the help of those medevacs, and I am late once again catching that. I'm trying to move in. I need to focus down these siege tanks, and I'm doing that a little bit later than I should have. And I'm able to take those all out, and it looks like, no, I'm not going to be able to hold this off. And he is going to be able to take the lead here. And I'm Sieging up my last siege tank it is going to do some work, but not enough to get any kills. But I do have this planetary fortress up, and I'm not exactly sure what he was doing here. I am able to get a free kill, so this planetary fortress now has two kills here. He dropped the guys right there and then realized it was a planetary fortress, I guess. Uh, weapons and armor level 2 are still on the way. I have to finish this off, so I'm moving in. Uh, giving them the stim pack and then focusing down the tanks so he can stop doing damage to my planetary fortress but I'm still unable to fend this off all by itself. These guys are still alive. Medivacs are out of energy though and it looks like I do have a large enough army here to finish this off and look at that as soon as I mentioned it oh man my macro just fell apart oh come on man get it together what are you doing? So he loads up his last three marauders and one marine inside the medevac and kind of dances it around. He is going to avoid my army over there. Uh, but it looks like we are both falling apart in terms of macro. Uh, I do have a lot more gas than he does, but he has a lot more minerals thanks to this high yield expansion. And that is because of all these mules. How many of those are there? There are seven of them. That is crazy that he would have seven ready like that. And he's getting two more racks up. So it looks like he's on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven racks. Uh, one factory and one starport. And it doesn't look like he set rally points because these guys are all just chilling in his base, but he is definitely going to be able to outproduce me here. I mean, look at that income right there. That is insane. Um, but we both are continuing to upgrade here. Um, I am trying to, to keep on top of my minerals and gas right now. Going for infantry level 3. I don't have enough gas. Oh, I do have enough for armor level 3, but do I have enough time? These guys are right outside my base, and I'm going to be unable to secure a third here or here, and I am drastically running short on minerals in my base. I do have um, 5, 6, 7 racks up as well, and he scans right on my army here, so he's going to start... Wait, what are you going to do? You're not going to do anything, but Good lord, look at all this army that is coming in right now. There is not much I can do about that. Uh, I did finally catch up on the minerals right here. Just trying to just keep producing, trying to get an army up and going, but that is primarily because I am down to just one mining base here. And I need to move out, I need to secure a third expansion here. And if I am unable to do that, that will definitely be the game right here. So I'm spinning up, uh, these siege tanks are sieging up way late once again. I am ch t I took out all the tanks here, re-stimming up, but these medevacs are going to be able to finish me off along with all these marauders. He's moving in here. 
No, he decided to stop and he's gonna dance around with Vikings, it looks like, uh, just in case I ended up getting one or two medevacs. I did not. Um, I'm still continuing to produce. I still have a ton of gas. I'm trying to get level three uh, weapons and armor. Uh, these guys are 1-1, one, one, by the way. Uh, no, nothing here. Uh, these guys are going to move inside my base. I still have marines there because I forgot to set the rally point since I built that barracks. I'm going to be easily taking that out. Uh, meanwhile, he repositioned his army to the left side here. I don't have... Oh, I sent way too much guys here, by the way. Uh, you don't need to send all of that. There were just three or four or er, Vikings. Um, I'm no longer uh, using the mules because I'm completely oversaturated here still um, because I need that third base here, but I just cannot secure it. He's almost mined out of the high yield that has gone on for way too long. There's no reason for me to still be in this game. He needs to uh, finish me mined out, but that's the reason why. He has 4,000 minerals, 1,200 gas. Um, if he had spent all that, it would have been game over about 5 or 10 minutes ago. He is going to leapfrog these tanks and get them just inside here. I'm trying to get my tank side here. And he is going to easily wipe this out. The 3 3 army is not going to be enough to hold him back. That is the game, and I give him a well played. It doesn't look like he deserved it as much as I thought when I was in the game, because he had that third base for so long, he ended up with 5,000 minerals, 1,600 gas. Um, I ended up with 1,300 gas, but only four or 500 minerals. I tried to produce as much as I could, but I desperately needed that third base so I can start spinning that gas a little bit better. Um, I tried to go for a starport, but um, once I saw those Vikings, I knew it was pretty much game over. And in terms of what I could produce out of the air, I am out of upgrades in my engineering base. I did uh, finally get um, these guys. Uh, did I say they were 3 3? They're actually 3 2 still. Not that it would have mattered all that much, anyways. Why is that one blue? Did I get a medevac? I did get a medevac, wow. So I got one medevac out. It it definitely saved the game for me, apparently, because I didn't even know it was there. Good lord. So uh, this was a, a good macro game in terms of what I can learn from it. What I need to learn is to get that third expansion quick. If I, I feel uncertain about getting this one here, take down those rocks early um, he's kind of scouting all over the map with these medevacs right now just trying to make sure I don't have another expansion I don't I'm just spending better than he is um, but this is the reason that I was able to stay in the game so long 5,600 if he once again if he had spent that I would have been gone so long ago but yeah five racks uh, factory and look I mean it, he's queued up a l nothing in a starport and Oh, there's your problem. Nothing, 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 nothing. Um, so he's he ended up with seven racks, three factories, and a starport. Um, 185 supply. Couldn't even get that all the way full, and he still had 5,600. But because he was able to take map control, due to my mismanagement in micro, it was enough to win him the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game hope you laughed hope you learned hope to see you next time thanks for watching